We are at the Little Miami, right here Dog Shadow, running along the shore. There's Keegan Boy, and here's Connor Boy. And we are looking, we are on a mission. We are trying to find glacial erratics. We live in Cincinnati, Ohio, world famous for its uh, Ordovician Age fossils. And uh, I had a neighbor who came up here and found some wonderful glacial erratics, and that is fossils not native to Cincinnati ordinarily. They, uh, my neighbor found uh, some Devonian corals, really cool. Anyway, so we're enjoying ourselves looking around. Now the fun thing about uh, rocks by rivers, they're all worn smooth and uh, rounded. This one, for example, has all types of trace fossils in it, probably pedicles from clams, maybe worm holes most likely from pedicles from clams. Anyway, but all the rocks are rounded smooth from all the transported water and debris, just the way it is, water-worn rocks. Okay, the rock on the right is bryozoan. It's been weathered. Bryozoan is the most common of all fossils, as I say. And the rock on the left shows us we're on a good start. This is not native to Cincinnati. This is not limestone or shale. I don't know my rocks well enough, but uh, definitely not native to Cincinnati. We're going to another section of Little Miami, uh, continuing our search for Shadow. glacial erratics. Hey, we're going to a place that's uh, not on the map. You don't have the public wandering around like the last few places we've gone. Anyway, so uh, we hope to find more plentiful, less overpicked uh, rocks and fossils here. We finally made it over. We go over a creek. At a low point. Very pretty. More rocks than we can shake a stick at. Lots of things to see, search through. This is all virgin territory to us, and it does indeed look like less people have picked over it just from. The richness of what little I've seen already. I found a depression of a uh, snail. It's kind of neat because you see the whorls pretty distinctly. This is not an internal mole because it's in the negative. So this is an impression. Cast, I should say, cast. Also, this is the front of my house, and I have uh, ongoing collection of various fossil rocks I put in the front in the dead space underneath these bushes. I've put in uh, river channels, I'm sorry, water channels that have run through the uh, sediments. And now I'm putting some of the glacial radics. I'm starting to put them up in the front too, but mainly I'm, I've taken all all these river uh, glacial radics that I've collected. So this is the dry version here, and first I'm going to give you some close-ups. And see this rock's very pink, and somewhat tannish. We have a lot of granite here, uh, and we also have. Uh, some other rocks too. Now, okay. I'm going to show you what it looks like when they're wet. Huge difference. Look at the banded. Look at the bands in that.
So these are the glacial radix I've collected for the last two months. Down by the river. Those two right there, they're about the uh, almost as big as a bowling ball. few of them are local rocks. That's uh, cephalopod and older fishing age rock. Most of them are glacial radics. That's a conglomerate there. You can see the various uh, other rocks embedded in it, almost like concrete, but that's uh, natural, not man made. And of course, these wonderful granites. And some other rocks as well. Other rock types, other granite. Just beautiful. Look at all the speckles in that. There's three, uh, three minerals in granite. There's uh, mica, which is the black. And there's quartz, which is white. And the uh, and feldspar, which is the pink. This one doesn't have much feldspar in it. That one does. Quite a bit of pink in that one. It's a nice big orange one. There's my shoe for comparison, so that's about a little bit bigger than a grapefruit. This one's slightly banded. I really like this one. That's why it's out in the front. 